So it is time to um, close this, this convention, inshallah, and uh, I was just given this ta task to make a few final comments and dua. Uh, we are blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He subhanahu wa ta'ala made it possible for us to be here and learn from our scholars and our speakers. The uh, the suggestions, the advice, the encouragement that we heard from our speakers, is it, it is what that we, inshallah, are going to carry with us. So faith over fear, this is the reminder to all of us. Nothing happens without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all wise, all knowing. Our task, my brothers and sisters, is that as servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we commit ourselves to our deen. And as Imam Siraj emphasized and kept on reminding us that our honor, our dignity is with our deen. Remember when Umar radiallahu ta'ala was entering as as a conqueror into Bilad al-Sham. And his colleague who was traveling with him, because after traveling for so many days, they were entering the city and, and the Amir al and his clothes were dirty. They were not clean anymore. So his companion suggested the Amir al why don't you change and I have an extra pair of clothes for you that you can. So Umar ta'ala reminded his companions and he said that before Islam, we were the most dishonored people on the face of the earth. Islam came and Islam gave us the status of the most honorable people on the earth, Khairul Ummah. And if we will leave Islam, we will go back to the same state of being dishonored people. And my brothers and sisters, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that that state may never come. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in the Quran, Ya Yuladina Amanu Taqullah. Muslimun said that we are always in that state when the time comes for us to leave in the state of being submitted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And inshallah, ourselves, in our families, in our community, Muslim community and the larger society, we will be the one that will carry our faith over our fears. We will be the one that we will reach out to our fellow Americans and, and, and tell them who their creator is, who their Rabb is. And these conventions and conferences are just for this purpose, to strengthen our Iman, to be remind, reminded of our duties towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That we, when we leave, we, we leave with this commitment that as the, I heard and learned from the scholars and the speakers, met so many other brothers and sisters from different backgrounds, different places, different cities. Now I am encouraged, my family and my children are encouraged and now inshallah we'll go back to our communities and play that role in our community and our society. So I don't want us to, to just leave and go back to the same old routine. There should be something different when we go back. Some commitment that now I will give my few hours of the week for the sake and pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in doing something for this deen. We pray, we fast, we give zakat and all those things. Obligations, they are, we, there is no way that we cannot do those things. But what else can I do for the sake and pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that a positive change is, comes in this society. So it is always about 
starting with ourselves. What can I do for my faith? What can I do for my deen? What can I do for my people, for my community and the society at large? Yesterday, I did not, when I mentioned that Rasulullah made the dua and at Taif, when he was tortured and, and emotionally harmed, physically harmed. And Prophet ﷺ made that dua and I decided to present to you this dua and conclude this session. Rasulullah ﷺ was in that state. Just visualize, Rasulullah ﷺ is dripping blood and tortured and at that time, Prophet ﷺ made this dua. Oh Allah, I complain to you alone that I am weak, that I do not have any resources, and that I do not hold any significance in the eyes of the people. O oh, most merciful of all, those who show mercy, you are the Rabb. You are the Rabb of the weak, and you are my Rabb. To whom are you going to entrust me? To a stranger who would look at me harshly or to an enemy to whom you have given control over my affairs. If you are not angry with me, then I do not care for anything except that I should enjoy your protection. I seek shelter in your light, in your nur which removes all sorts of darkness and controls the affairs of this world and the hereafter. May it never be that you become angry with me or you are displeased with me. I must please, I must please you until you are happy with me. There is neither strength nor any power except with you. My brothers and sisters, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that as Rasulullah Sallallahu made that dua in that time, difficult, challenging time, that we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that may that dua be from all of us in our difficult, challenging times. That we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to forgive us all, our families, our parents, our Muslim brothers and sisters, and we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to show to have mercy upon us and our affairs and our community. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show us the guidance and help us to take this message of Islam to our fellow Americans. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us and our communities with, wis with, with wisdom and courage, with the strength that we stand for our faith, that no fear shall ever touch us and no fear shall ever enter our hearts except the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik wa nashadu an la ilaha illa an nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Wa al-asr inna al-insana lafi khus ila ladina amanu wa amilu al-salihat. Wa tawasaw bil-haq wa tawasaw bil-sabr. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.